Who do you think Basie would pick? Uh, see, Basie's knocked out. Because you guys offended her with <laughs> Empire State of Mind. She lost her mind. Yeah, that was crazy. The last time I was with B Dot and Hove, this is a direct quote. B Dot, you have the worst takes <laughs> than any human being on planet Earth. Oh, that's what Hove told me. <laughs> that happened. Records on records on records. We trying to get to these brackets. We flipping through all the D6 in these classics. Sometimes I don't know which one to pick when it happens. We mixing the match and we listening and trying to get brackets. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Complex Brackets. I'm your host, Brian B. Dodd Miller. Now, with our season three finale upon us, we thought it was only right to talk about hip hop royalty, the GOAT. That's right, Jay Z. And with a career spanning nearly 30 years, 13 number one albums, and countless other accolades, it's nearly impossible to zero in on all of Jigga's hits. So, we're taking an alternate route. To help us pick the worst Jay Z song of all time, respectfully, of course, please welcome our guests. Rory and Maul, what's going on, guys? What's good, fam? Okay. This, is, this is who you call it to crown the worst Jay-Z song? I mean, <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate I mean, it. I had a call amongst Jay-Z fans. I think we all are Ho-Vengers. 100%. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. I've been called Captain save a ho once upon a time. It's actually hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> so y'all agree with me. ho has too many hits, right? Yeah, like, I want to know who song? dug through, like, a goddess in a songwriter's Hall of Fame, like, and found his worst <laughs> like, let's give the creator some 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 credit here. Like, right. I know who did that. It's the yeah. internet. Yeah. If the internet wants to celebrate greatness. But one thing we can agree on is that Jay Z's worst are some of some people's best. Oh, for sure. L looking at this uh this bracket, there's some there's definitely some people's bests up here. And with that being said, let's get it bracket. Ready to play? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. First matchup we have things that you do featuring Mariah Carey versus what they're gonna do featuring Sean Paul. Here's the thing though. The first album I ever bought was volume three so mm. it has like a special place in my heart and I did love things that you do then I got a little older and realized like maybe this was a waste of a Swizz and Mariah Carey collab You're right but I will say the kids future Metro Boomin and all that flute shit y'all love <laughs> started with things that you do really think about the flute that hmm. Metro and all them use now things that you do is not a terrible record no I feel like what they're gonna do is easily the worst J record <laughs> I that might that win song. the whole thing. So let me, <laughs> yeah, like this is this is the champion right so here. So matter of fact, let's see the reveal. Yeah, that's what they. That's what they're gonna do. Yeah. All right, what they're gonna do goes on to the next round. Show up their box on. Oh my god, <laughs> nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> that was a nasty that's joint. Disgusting. All right, guys, what do you think about this? Reminder versus Justify My Thug. <sighs> Justify My Thug is the only reason the Black Album you can't listen to straight through. Mm, it's still a classic though. It's a classic mm. album. But it's the only skip, and Jay is rapping on that shit. And I don't, I still want to go back to LA, so let me not say bad <laughs> words about Quick. Right. It's just not a good DJ Quick beat. Like, mm. you forced it because he was trying to go to everybody. You had to get the West Coast shit, I understand. But put those rhymes over something else, and it's a great song. That's All just right. not a good Quick beat. So, with that being said, which one do you guys think is worse out of these two? Let me see the reveal. I'm, I am too. Just because it, it, it made the Black Album not, not a straight through uh, album. Mm, what about Reminder? I didn't need that Reminder. You didn't need that it's one? It's just not as bad as Justify My Thug. He's rapping on both of these yeah. at a high caliber. They're yeah. just not good production. Okay. Well, Justify My Thug goes on to the next round. Next matchup we got, Change Clothes versus Off That this featuring is, Drake. This is offensive. This what is the offensive. fuck is wrong with Change Clothes? Yeah, I don't know why Change Clothes is up here. Change Clothes for me just didn't make sense on the Black Album. All right, you're right, but in this matchup, yes. is it better than Off That? I, uh, Here's the thing with Off That, though. Jay said he was off all the things that he still currently wears. He still wears Timberlands. <laughs> he still wears Timberlands. Yeah. And why didn't Drake get a verse on Off That? True. Was Hope scared? Scared of Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I've never personally liked changed clothes, but... Just in this matchup. Th in this on. matchup, I would... Uh, I think I'm gonna, I would probably go off that because we oh. still wear Timberlands. That's so, all. Some girl from that video broke beat out heart. <laughs> How do you not like change clothes? The video was nice, but I just didn't think that it fit. That video was fire. The video was great, but I just don't think it fit the actual. Uh, I know what you mean. We stick with off that, guys? The new yeah, Smash that. single. I hate labels. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's blazing. Off that goes on to the next round. Next up, we have Pop for Rock featuring Emil, Beanie Siegel, and Memphis Bleak versus anything featuring Usher. You got your picks locked in? I got my pick locked in. Of course Picking I the do. worst. Yes. All right, let me see what you guys have. Was this, was <laughs> this a debate? <laughs> Jedi yeah. mind trick. Anything sounds like someone came in with a reference for Ryan Leslie to try to sound like Usher trying to sound like Michael Jackson. Right. It just, and, it just and didn't mesh well. Yes. Yeah, it just didn't mesh well with the overall 
chemistry of uh, Kendrick I can't even Cone. believe Pop for Rock is up here. Yeah. I thought that was weird. It's kind I of love a, Pop for Rock. It's not a bad record, but it's kind of it's kind of a skipper. Okay. But anything from Jay Z and Usher, yeah, goes definitely. on to the next round. All right, what you think about this then? We got Noah Girls Like featuring Little Kim versus S. Dot Carter featuring the Mill. Let me see the reveal. <sighs> Ah, yeah. you guys are on the same page. Did you yeah, rehearse man. this? No, nah, man. Was, we almost didn't want to do this. We definitely, <laughs> we definitely didn't want to rehearse this, man. Right. But um, yeah, I know what girls like. Again, it's never the lyrics. It was, you know, that's in question with Jay. It's, it's always the hook or the, or, the, or the beat. It's definitely a blemish. I'm obviously rocking a volume one shirt right now. A lot of people said that's a classic album. Do you feel like this takes away from it being heralded up amongst I mean, I don't, I don't... <laughs> It doesn't take away from it, but this is definitely not a song that I would run to on that album. Mm. That was the only one I didn't really like on that album. I know everyone did hated Sunshine and City Is Mine. I like Sunshine and City I like Mine City Is Mine as fire, yeah. but yeah. I mean I get it. It was the it was the throwaway bigs right. shit and I get it. This one was kinda of tough for me because S Dot Carter, I know you're a volume three guy, Rory, but I just couldn't get with the hook from a mill, like Competition is not a. You got a problem with Emil? She seems to be on here a lot. <laughs> and it's more so, it's like Emil's tone was really dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's it was the sexy female voice on the hook, and um, I thought that beat to me, that S. Dot Carter beat is better than. Okay. Yeah. Girls like. All right. Well, I know what girls like. Advances to the next round. Next up to bat, we got the eighth grader in me wants to throw this iPad across this set right now. <laughs> what is wrong with O3 Bonnie and Clyde? We have Jay-Z Hollywood featuring Beyonce, O3 Bonnie and Clyde featuring Beyonce. Somebody didn't get pussy in O3 that, that put that on. That's <laughs> what I'm just thinking. Bonnie and Clyde is up here, but you know, okay, we'll have fun with it. I think a lot of people didn't like the fact that Jay, you know, re recycled uh, Tupac's Me and My Girlfriend for uh, a relationship kind of record. I think any marital problems that have happened between Jay-Z and Beyonce are because of Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood, Hollywood is in this, observation. <laughs> Hollywood is in, I don't like that one too much, but Hollywood's going on to the next round, baby. Next up we have Show Me What You Got versus BBC. This might be the most offensive one. Mm. What is wrong with Show Me What You Got? As a matter of fact, let me show me what, what you guys have. Oh, I mean, that's simple. Yeah, I gotta do BBC. I have yeah. to do BBC. Show yeah. Me What You Got could make like a best of hove list. This is a very interesting list, b -Dot. I don't know if the, the bracket fans know. The last time I was with B Dot and Hove, this is a direct quote. B Dot, you have the worst takes <laughs> than any human being on planet Earth. Oh, that's what Hove told me. <laughs> that happens. That happens. B Dot's list, I think sometimes it's like, like B Dot wants want you to know exactly how much he's listening to shit. And you'll push it on there, you be like, yo, I get it, bro. You and you locked in. <laughs> but that shouldn't be on the list. You he know what I mean? He understands. He understands the internet. He knows how to rile people. Yeah, he listen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that too. I'm gonna get a this is Hove text by the end of this show. So good. I'm gonna forward it to you guys. Tell them we left the building. We know what we're I wasn't mad at BBC. Yeah. I guess it was just I'm with not the mad hype. at a few songs on here, but it's just like these two songs is BBC is not better than Show Me What You Got. To me. Mm. Okay. So, but BBC, for the sake of argument, it's going on to the next round. And for our last matchup in the final round, I don't understand this one at all. We have Always Be My Sunshine featuring Babyface and Foxy Brown versus this Empire is, State of Mind and Alicia Keys. This is very disrespectful. I agree. Who's non-New Yorker ass put this shit on here? <laughs> this is I his agree. first number one, like, song. Empire State of Mind, this is blasphemous, okay? I don't know why this is on here. Just for the record, I didn't pick this one. Do not shoot the messenger. We have other producers and creative team on there. I didn't pick this one. I just want to let that be known. Let me see what it reveal just for the sake of argument. There we go. Always be my and oh, it's Sunshine's not even a bad and it's song. Not even I like Sunshine, either, but you can't have Jay's first number one record. And come on, that's that's just that's ridiculous. I think a lot of people moved to New York because of that record. But you're sick if you moved to New York when you <laughs> heard that. that record. <laughs> <laughs> when you heard Gypsy Cab Dollar Cab, was like I'm going there. <laughs> you can always go to Jersey. That's, that's true. true. Always be my sunshine's going on to the next round. And there we have our lead eight. All right, guys. We're definitely not getting into the Rock Nation brunch this year. Yeah, it's Absolutely. over. That's it's, it. it's over. All right, let's keep it moving. First matchup we got, what they gonna do featuring Sean Paul versus Justify My Thug. The elite eight that we hate. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Which song do pretty, you dislike the most? Bro, this is pretty easy. It's very easy. Anytime very easy what they gonna me. do is pops up. <laughs> That's that's the one. You go what they gonna do? Easy. Yo, man. Send it to the finals. That's <laughs> send it to the finals. Send it to the finals. It's the number one C right here. <laughs> I just didn't like hearing Hove on like the reggae. It's not I'm just even imagining Hove like like body rolling in the booth. And like, there's I another version to that song too. <laughs> like, I just, 
Is it? Yeah. There's another, it's, yeah. It's the last yeah. track, yeah. Yeah. But we're sticking with uh, what they're going to do. What they're going to do. All right. Nasty straight time, straight to the man. finals. Don't confuse it with dog. He's different, man. Yeah, nah, it was some lines over there. <laughs> but when that hook come back in, it's like, ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, Nasty. what they're going to do goes on to the next round. Next up, we have Off That versus Anything. Easy pick, Easy too. pick? Yeah, Very easy, easy pick. pick. Yeah. Ah, I'm curious about this this finals with anything versus anything. What they gonna do? What about off that? Like, is off that is gonna get a pass this time around? I mean, in comparison to anything, yeah. yeah. Like off that, off that wasn't that bad. Right. Ho, yeah, I mean, man. Hove killed rims. He killed eventually button up. Every, he just yeah. could not just kill couldn't. anything on that record. <laughs> yeah, if he didn't try Everything to kill, survived. If he didn't, say, if he didn't say Tim's, it would be like I think right, it would have cool. been a pass because yeah, it's like you know years later we still wear we still wear yeah. Tim's. He yeah. couldn't kill Tim's and he couldn't kill Auto Tune. Anything goes on to the next round. Okay, seems to be a lot of agreement so far. But historically, what are some topics that you find yourselves on the opposite sides of? Maybe certain R and B records. Which songs do you disagree with? Rory's taste in R and B is a little different than mine. Mm. Like, he gets into the real, like, acoustic, barefoot vibe. <laughs> I yeah. like that, too, but he loves that. Oh, I like a little more up-tempo R&B. Okay. Listen, yeah. man, I'll be at the Blue Note at the Robert Glasper's shit. He wants to relate to Summer Walker and the pain mm. that she goes through. You know and he, that's more, that's <laughs> more of his story. That's more of your side. <laughs> Great music. <laughs> right. It's just like, we just on different sides of it. That's yeah. Cool. Okay. I think he thinks Wayne is a better rapper than Drake. Maul just does not like Lil Wayne. I see, that's a lie. I love Lil Wayne. He thinks think he's overrated. He I thinks think he's that, trash. No. He thinks the Carter Three is the worst album of all time. All time? <laughs> no, no, no. See, he just look, like, see how he starts lying. I just said <laughs> Wayne. To me, the Carter Three isn't a classic. I think Carter Two is Wayne's classic. I think Carter Three is classic for a lot of things, not because of the music. It was classic because of the moment. You no, know, selling my music. And speaking of Lil Wayne and Jay-Z, why is Hello Brooklyn not on this list? Hello Brooklyn should have been on the list. When we heard that Jay and Wayne had a song together on Jay's album, that's blasphemy. everybody was anticipating that shit like, yo, like, and then we got Hello Brooklyn and it was like, it, so it may not be a terrible record, okay, right? But it wasn't what we expected. Wow. It's not blasphemy that someone from New Orleans is screaming Hello Brooklyn? I, I, well, they're distant cousins. They're both named Carter. Yeah, but then do, then do the Mr. Hello Carter Brooklyn. record that they did. <laughs> do that one. Do Welcome Back Carter. Welcome so, back yeah. Carter. I don't know. And on top of that, where's Brooklyn, Hello Brooklyn 1.0? Like, it's <laughs> just 2.0 2. 2. out of nowhere. Point in the meantime, I know what girls like versus Hollywood. <sighs> hmm. It's actually easy to me. It's easy to you. How about you, Mom? Yeah. Ooh, going Hollywood. Well, final disagreement. Going Hollywood. Yeah, I'm going, I know what girls like. You're going to girls? I think, I think that the, the Beyonce feature to me, Mm. I think what makes people probably appreciate Hollywood more than I know what girls like. I mean, at least I know what girls like fit in the beginning of volume one. Even if you didn't like it, it didn't feel out of place. It, Hollywood to me just felt out of place. It felt forced. It felt yeah. Forced. And then you get a into beach, then you get in a beach chair and I'm like, all right, what are you taking us, man? <laughs> to the beach. I've I've listened to Hollywood in its entirety. I know what girls like is always a skip for me. So I think I'm gonna go with Maul. If I know what girls like, man, I think I have to be the tiebreaker. Y'all just scared of the beehive. I am, I am, I am too, though. <laughs> love the beehive. I love the beehive. And Lil' Kim got a beehive. Yes, there you go. The, the battles <laughs> of the bees. The battles of the bees. All right, but I'm going to go with Maul on this one. I know what girls like. I think that's going to have to go on to the next round. And for our last matchup, we got BBC versus Always Be My Sunshine. This might be the toughest one because Always Be My Sunshine, I think it got flack because of the choreography. And the, in the video, and the, right? In the, in the, in the, you know, the, the clothing. I think they kind of killed Jay for that. Yeah. But the record wasn't that bad. It's the not baby a... face hook is great. Foxy, I thought, got off on the shit. Yeah, she did. So, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, BBC. Long BBC. As far as BBC goes, do you think, where does that fall amongst him and Nas's collaborations? All right. It's not the worst. Like, to me, I know it's on Nas's album, so it's not up here. Black Republican, I think, is their worst collab. Hmm. I think success is their, yeah. their best. Okay. BBC, I'm actually kind of offended that BBC is in the final four of Worst Hope songs because BBC is not that bad. Right. Like, it's not. In co but in comparison to these two right here, it's, we, I definitely like Sunshine more than Yeah, Sunshine is a, it's, it's not that bad. Yeah. All right, BBC moves on to the next round. All right, let's get into our final four. First up, we got what they're going to do versus anything. Very easy. Very easy. Think very easy? Run very away, easy. Vic runaway victory for, for Sean Paul. Wait, let me see what you guys <laughs> Here's have. Here's the thing. I want to make... Because I think both of these are equally awful, I'm gonna make B dot decide. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now I gotta deal with the tiebreaker. I'm a West Indian, so you know I, I think this song helped restore diplomatic relations between America and Jamaica. Yo, don't ever say diplomatic or, relations. Like that again. <laughs> 
or it caused the rift. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I think they skipped the Labor Day parade that year. Oh, yeah, man. I, I think we 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 grew further apart from Jamaica after this record. Uh, but however, that anything man is Ho- just Hove had to go visit Haiti after that. You oh, realize that man. he didn't even go to Jamaica. Yeah, this was bad. But I think I'm going to side with Rory on this one. Anything is just yeah. Anything isn't everything, man. That's this, true. This one was a real standout to me on Kingdom Come, so I, I, I'm a rock with anything. I had to be the tiebreaker. Anything, you're going to the final round, man. Now, guys, back in 2013, Jay-Z ranked his own albums. Now, for clarity, this is pre-444. So where do you think that album ranks amongst the pack? I listen to 444 once a week now, so mm. I, I have it pretty high. I on, might uh, put 444 at number four, only because it's like the first time we could see a mega hip hop star age well yeah. and like how that was going to happen that's why i think it belongs I will put so f- high in for what it kind of represented in the scope of hip hop period hmm. i will put it right after volume 2 only because that's fair in this order right here volume 2 uh changed uh, I think Hov's entire career. Right. So how many classics are we looking at then, guys? I mean, Reasonable Doubt is a classic. Blueprint is a classic. The Black Album is a classic three to are, me. Are Volume classic. 2 is a classic to me. Yeah. 444 is a classic, so that's five. At, we have five already. I'm going uh, American Gangster. I think that's six. I, I love American, American Gangster, Gangster, and I think it aged the best out of all his albums. I can't quite call it a classic, so mm. I'm going to go with five. All right, let me ask you this. Whatever Jay-Z's career do you think is the best? I, I personally like Playboy Jay-Z, so that's like... Well, you would, to me, it would because everything changed at volume two, right? That's where Jay started to really. We got take Hustler off. Jay, we have Hotep Jay, we have. I think going from Dynasty. Hotep Jay. <laughs> Hotep Ho. <laughs> Call it Ho, but Hotep is crazy. <laughs> when was he Hotep Jay? Because he got, you know, he got the dreads now. You know, we he, made it. He was Jay Electronica. Yeah, yeah. You know? I, get, I, I get what he's saying. I guess. He, he drinking sea moss now, you know. I get it. I get it. I know what Ho do. I, I watch his cholesterol, man. Yeah, he's getting, he's getting yeah. a little older. Yeah, alkaline water. I get it. I, w- I would say Dynasty going into Blueprint and the Black Album would be his, his best era to me. Yeah. I mean, Annie Hard Knock Life, bro. Monster. That was a time. That was a monster. You know what I mean? So I'm going to start there. And I mean, all the way up until I think American Gangster. Okay. So his whole career is what you're saying. <laughs> you, just, you just went from volume one to, well, from look, to, to, to 2007. 2007. <laughs> well, listen, man, we got to, we got to. So his career is what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Why, yeah, exactly. I oh. mean, we talking about somebody that's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Songwriters Hall of Fame. I mean, it's hard to find an era where they weren't on top. Absolutely. You know what I, mean? Absolutely. I also say with Dynasty Blueprint to Black album was the same era where I feel like all the Rockefeller artists started to like blossom, if you will, too. Mm-hmm. So I think making music at that time and his exec level at that time is kind of unmatched of doing both. I bet. Let's get back to the action. All right, we got I Know What Girls Like versus BBC. The worst out of these two. Let me see what you guys have. You got it locked in? Yeah, I'm, there's no complaints there. I know what girls like. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a, a black eye on a good album. A black eye on a good album. <laughs> Do you feel like that song is the reason why Volume 1 is underrated? Outside of the intro, the beginning part of that album is why people don't really fuck with Volume 1 like that. Because those three kind of go in a row, isn't it? Yeah. I know the girls like Sunshine and then City is Mine. Yeah, it was like that little, that middle. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think that's where people judge it. Because you had the, one of the best intros you've ever heard mm-hmm. yeah. coming off Reasonable Doubt. And then it's like, you're taking us where? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the one time in Jay's career where he tried to follow mm. what was out there and what was yeah. popular. I know what girls like. It's going on to the final round. All right, here we go. For our final round, we got Anything featuring Usher versus I Know What Girls Like featuring Little Kim. I think I think this is a easy. I think it's a blowout. This is a blowout. In the, in the finals. Yeah, I was I was expecting to see what they're gonna do in the finals. They, <laughs> Yo, they, 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 bust, you... they killed my bracket. <laughs> it was a bracket. <laughs> what, yeah, when they, what they gonna do? Busted my bracket. Oh I think, man, I think Ho was blinded by that hologram cover yeah. when he was making this joint. <laughs> Yeah, Don't act like, well, you was there, but I was a kid. Yeah. I was like, yo, it moves. It moves. It's, it's, it, it, was, it was a thing. It was definitely a thing. But I think this round is is, is easy. I, I, I feel like uh, I know what girls like shouldn't even made it this far, but whatever. It's Let me it. see what you guys have for the reveal. Ah, anything. Yeah. Honorable mentions that I think should have been on here. Please. Hater. Hello, Brooklyn. Hater. Hate, um, hate from, uh, from Blueprint 3. Yeah. Hater should def- That was definitely a throwaway from 808s and Heartbreaks. Mm. And Ho, Ho was like, all right, I see 808s and Heartbreaks work. What, what else you got on the hard drive? He's going to kill us for this, by the way. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's going to get shit forever behind this shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
I might get Made dropped. it in America. <laughs> you didn't like Made in America. Made in America was a force. I know Frank was the hottest thing ever at that time. You already had the intro. Like, Made in America did not need to be on that album. I think it's a great, it's a good intro. Like, I think it's a good song to come out to, to open up a, a show. Jay is rapping in Spanish in a Jamaican accent. <laughs> Nasty times. Said Grandma was cooking agua. That. I'm like, oh, oh, come on. He was cooking the agua. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, guys. You heard it from Rory and Mal. Even myself. Anything featuring Usher is the worst Jay-Z song of all time. And I, listen, we're all Jay-Z fans. I think Jay-Z would even agree to this one. Or uh, ghetto, ghetto Techno. Get, ghetto got, Techno doesn't count. It was unreleased. I'm not mad at anything, though. Anything was definitely one of the records that... I think that we were kind of disappointed at. Yeah, absolutely. All right, now before we get out of here, is there any other rapper that's so great that we could do a worst of bracket with? I, I mean, mean, you would have to try Drake. Right. I mean, that to me, Drake, uh, maybe Wayne. Someone who has a lot of W's and like limited L's, right? Yeah. yeah. Wayne, Wayne is tough though, because Wayne put out so much music that like it's kind of easy to find. When you put out that much, you're going to find some yeah. bad records in that regard. I mean, Nas has Nas? a long career. You can find some Nas records. That I think you could do this bracket yeah. with. Yeah, but Nas would actually be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you could do like you do 50. Do yeah. 50. 50. Definitely do that. And lastly, you guys' podcast, New Rory Amal, where people can listen to y'all guys' hip hop hot takes. What else can fans look forward to? Um, we got we got some side projects. We just launched our Patreon as well mm -hmm. um, with some different content up there. So please please check that out, New Rory Mall on Patreon. All right, fellas. Yo, I want to thank my guests, Rory and Mall, for joining us on this week's episode of Complex Brackets and helping us crown the worst Jay-Z song of all time. But what do you think? Jump in the comments below and let us know. And make sure you check out the description below where you'll find a playable link to this exact bracket. Just make sure you share your results using the hashtag Complex Brackets on all social platforms. I'll catch y'all next season. I'm Brian B. Miller. It's The Rock. Yeah.